and I'm sorry. Because no, because it's not like City Hall. Not I know they're not. Yeah, I'm aware that she's not in the state. Hi, guys. Where do you want me? Over here? Or? Is that good enough? Is that good? Okay. Just a quick clarification on the announcement before we get into this. So, two years of funding for the police officers, then it's up to the city whether they want to continue them or because that a lot of times we see no, this is going into the, the ballot so it's going into the basket funding for the city yeah, it's ongoing funding so it would continue after yes. two years yeah. your thought. okay yeah. thank you on, baseline. on yeah. the decision not to fund uh, a search of the landfill uh, you said the province won't stand in the way of the federal government if it wants to fund a search so if it's about safety um, why no, we, it is stand? it is about safety and um, obviously the the federal government if they choose to go down that path Again, you know, they're not right now, so we'll wait to see what they what they come up with. But we want to ensure the safety of, of workers first and foremost. Which workers are you talking about? Like those who would be doing the search. But oh, sorry. You'll sorry. be okay with it if the federal government funds the search? No, well it's it's up to that. This is not about funding. This is about the safety and it was in the report itself. This is about the safety of those individuals who would be conducting the search. I mean the landfill is full of toxic waste um, and uh, you know that is identified in the report and in the report itself it identified yeah, you know that there are safety risks and we are very concerned about that. But I, I, I do just want to say as well I mean you know my heart goes out to the families. This is a very very difficult time for them. And, uh, you know, what we want to do and what we had indicated to those families that we met with yesterday and last week is that we want to help them through this healing process. And so we have offered some funding for that. We've offered uh, more funding for MMIWG2S um, individuals as well uh, who are at risk in these, in these situations. And then we've also offered um, if there is a memorial, if they want to go down that path, that we would be help, we would be willing to help out in those areas. Well, there have been the searches of, uh, of the Brady landfill in the past, about a decade ago. Winnipeg Police went in there, hazmat suits and everything. So is it not possible to guarantee the safety of workers? And, and what guarantees would you be well, looking again, for? Well, the, the again, the risks, the yeah, the risks that were identified in the report were significant. Um, and so, uh, again, I go by what the report says. There's a significant amount of work that was done around that. And again, we want to ensure the safety. Uh, we, also, we also want to ensure that this doesn't jeopardize the, the judicial process as well, that this continues to go through as well. What guarantees would you be looking for from the federal government in terms of worker safety? Yeah, so again, those would be discussions. I don't want to have those discussions here right now, uh, but we will have those discussions with the federal government. If they choose to go down that path, we haven't heard from the federal government, though. We need to go and ask them, what, what, the, what is their plans, what is their intention moving forward? So a lot of the families were speaking sir. yesterday about this and saying they're outraged by the decision. What do you want to say to them? Well, what I did say to them, because I met with them yesterday, and listen, it was a very tough and emotional um, decision. I mean, I, I'm a mother. Uh, and I, I can't imagine what they are going through right now. And my heart goes out to them, uh, and uh, and that's why we want to help them in these in these ways that we have offered to help them. And uh, but again, we need to um, we need to respect the judicial process that this continues to go through. We don't want to jeopardize that in any way, and we need to ensure you know. Uh, that it's a safe way of doing it if the federal government decides to afford it. Why is this a federal jurisdiction though? I mean, it's a provincially regulated uh, landfill. Uh, no, it's, no it, it's their decision. They haven't made a decision yet whether or not they are choosing to move forward with, uh, with the search. And, uh, you know, that's up to them. Should the it federal... not be a provincial responsibility? No. No, it's their, it, uh, you know, it's, they, they make the decision. And uh, you know whether or not I, I don't control what they, what they do, um, but again, those are those are decisions that that they will make, and uh, you know best asked of, of them. Well, yes, would you need to be do you, if the federal government did want to move forward, would you need to be satisfied with whatever uh, safety parameters they put around it? Like, would you say, well, hold on a second, you can't do it if you would you would the province have to be satisfied? With whatever safety permits yeah. the feds came up with. There's all sorts of, um, you know, permits and so on. It would have to go through those processes as well. And I, I would absolutely um, not want anyone to be putting themselves at, at risk, significant risk, going going through that that search process. So, the, the, the report is precedent is an issue in your rationale here too. The AMC has been open saying that it's looking to put together a proposal for Brady as well. And 
unfortunately, this may not be the last time this happens in this province. Look, I, I think the families are going through a very, very emotional and, and challenging time. And what we wanted to do is make sure that we are there with the resources that, that they need to help them heal at this time. Uh, you know, I wish I could bring those family members back. We can't do that. Um, and, uh, you know, our, our hearts go out to, to those families right now. We want to help them through this process. That, that's why we're offering um, those programs uh, to them right now and, and ongoing. When did you get the full report? Pardon me? When did you get the full report? Yeah, our, uh, like our officials received it, I, I don't know the exact day, we can find out about that, but certainly it's been, you know, our officials have gone through the reports, they have, you know, um, they have, uh, you know, briefed me on that, and, and so um, that's that's what happens with, with all reports, that's the process that goes through, and um, uh, I believe it was originally kind of leaked somewhere, and I don't know about that, but... Uh, uh, but certainly we have had an opportunity to go through the report and, and analyze it. Yeah, Premier, if cost isn't a factor, them. if cost isn't a factor and the feds said we want to do this, would the province... Like again, we're going down a hypothetical path right now and I don't want to do that. The federal government needs to indicate what they're, what they're uh, indication or what they're, what they're planning to do. Uh, we have done, we have indicated to the families and it was important to sit down with the families and have those discussions with the families. Can we switch gears for a moment? Subject matter? Yeah, actually I do. Uh, Premier's conference next week. Yes. What are your priorities? So it's going to be exactly what we're here for today. This is about uh, uh, community safety. Um, that will be discussed. It was discussed at the Western Premier's conference. It will be discussed next week uh, as well. And uh, also looking at infra our infrastructure and trade corridors across the country, making sure that supply chain that we've got a long-term vision for that and working uh, with the federal government on that side of things. You know, all, obviously health care, other issues as well will come up and um, looking forward to uh, hosting uh, all of my colleagues across the country in Winnipeg. Now, I know there's one Inuit group that was invited that says it's not coming, it's boycotting. Does that alter discussions around the table? Or? It's happened in the past, unfortunately, but, you know, it was very important that we reach out and, and invite them. And uh, But I know that they have declined in the past as well. And, you know, I still hope that they, they would, that they will come because I think they add a lot to uh, to the discussion. And anything that the other premiers are saying that they would like to prioritize as well? Yeah, there's. Well, you can ask them because <laughs> they'll be here next week. And well, so you got to be manage exciting. It. You got to chair it, right? About, about That's health, right. <laughs> about has there been any sign that the feds are willing to provide additional money for healthcare beyond what they've committed? No, not yet. What's, so, the, well, what's well, been the message from them? You know, we, we've we've been having those discussions, and uh, again, you know, we want to focus on ensuring. I mean, our ask is still there for, for more funds from the federal government, um, but we recognize also that there's more other pressing pressing issues out there. What we want to see from them specifically is on the bail reform, and it came out of our Western Premiers Conference last week. They've introduced the bill federally, but they didn't call it for debate or anything, and now they've gone on recess. So. We would have liked to have seen that bill pass, and we're, it's very unfortunate that it hasn't. And so we're going to have that discussion at the coffee table next week. We have a lot Thanks, everyone. Of coverage about executive wages. Do you think it's appropriate for ministers and executives in government, and provincial, public sectors, uh, to get general wage increases that are greater than those negotiated between employers and public sector unions? Well, I, that's a very general question. Um, I would say that uh, you know. What one of the challenges is, is as a province, we want to make sure we're competitive with other provinces across the country. We want to make sure that we're competitive within the executive of, um, of our crown corporations as well as compared to the private sector. We're looking at that competitiveness uh, across the country in different jurisdictions. If we're not competitive, we're not going to be able to attract um, the quality of individuals that we need to run these crown corporations. And so that is obviously what we're looking at right now. In terms of MLA pay, because I think this might be related, um, MLA pay is set automatically as adjusted with inflation, as the report from 2017 by the uh, commissioner. Um, but uh, some public servants might say, "Well, wait, you're uh, you're getting a raise, and some public servants are getting smaller raises or, or none." Yeah, I think um, there is an independent process that takes place um, with a um, um, you know. Uh, Commissioner. The, commissioner. the independent commissioner uh, that that makes those decisions, and so um, you know that's out of our hands. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you.